good afternoon children welcome to our social class okay last week you are and we i am also very busy with the mid term exams and you are very tensed and uh, your all the exams over today and you are free from that uh, tension and uh, so now you have to active for listening and doing again uh, social class and all other subjects okay and you have to recharge yourself uh, and uh, you should be energetic and uh, see all the things uh, well okay so we can start today again our social class today i am discussing politics uh, fourth chapter chapter name key elements of democratic government so you have to ready for the politics class uh, take your textbook and notebook and everything and with that you have to listen and watch the video uh, more carefully and understand it and read the chapter and uh, uh, today's portions and understand it and do it all the things very well do the works very well okay so we can go to uh, go to class okay thank you okay children as you already know that earliest form of government was monarchy okay last chapter we studied about the different types of government that is monarchy and democracy monarchy means a king or queen is ruling uh, and final decision is taken by the king or queen can they have the ultimate authority and democracy means that is a uh, who have the power people have the power to choose their government and people have the power to question the government so the earliest form of government was monarchy where the king or the queen rule a country he or she enjoyed all the powers all the help by advices the final decision lay in the hands of the monarch as he or she was all powerful slowly it was realized that the will of people also matter finally democracy come up or as the most popular form of government as people the government uh, people the common mass or citizen played an important role in the selection of leaders now the most common form of government is known as democracy india follows uh, democracy india is the biggest uh, democratic country in the world so so now the most popular form of government is known as uh, democracy okay so it is very important then the word democracy come from the greek word demos and kartos uh, the the word together mean the word together means authority of the people therefore democracy means government of people as you know india follows as a representative form of government that its citizen choose their representatives to run the government the representatives takes decision on behalf of the people keeping in mind their opinion and problems so india follows democratic government okay then in your test book come to your chapter test book there is one story is given okay and in this chapter you will read about some of the key elements that influence the working of democratic government this include people people's participation the res, uh, resolution resolution of conflict and uh, equality and justice okay in your test book first page one story is given uh that is happening in south africa south africa is a country that has people of several races uh, there there are black people who belong to south africa whites who came uh, there to settle and indians who came as laborers and the traders so in south africa important features is that south africa is a country that has people for several races races means uh, different different colors okay may people are uh, um group in different colors okay there are black people who belong to south africa then whites who come there to settle then uh, indians who came as a laborers and uh, traders and one story is given there is maya naidu an 11 years old south african girl living in the town of johannesburg was helping uh, her mother uh, clear up her old boxes then she found a scrapbook full of uh, of pictures and newspaper articles there were many pictures of young school boy of around 15 years of age 
when she asked her mother who the boy was she was <coughs> told that he was called hector peterson he had been uh, shot by the police maya was shocked why she asked her mother explained that south africa was either governed by apartheid laws what do you mean by apartheid apartheid means suppression on the basis of race that means uh, suppression based on color south african people were divided into white black indian and colored races according to the law these races were not allowed to uh, mingle with each other to live each uh, near each other or even to use common facilities so in south africa once uh, apartheid uh, situation is going on that means uh, uh, discrimination based on color in india discrimination based on caste we not uh, people uh, group in different caste kshatriya uh, vaishya shudra brahmin kshatriya vaishya shudra like that <coughs> okay in africa uh, discrimination based on color that is known as apartheid okay <laughs> apartheid means suppression on the basis of race south african people were divided into white black indian and colored races and what the uh, situation is that according to this law what is happening the races were not allowed to mingle with each other okay black and white and indian they are not allowed to mingle with each other even the use of common facilities maya could not believe uh, her uh, ears uh, that means uh, maya's mother <coughs> sounded anyone that she spoke about life under apartheid it is a very horrible life in south african people suffered okay very horrible life because this apartheid laws were discriminating people between uh, white and black okay that is very uh, very biggest problem uh, means hospitals were separated and were uh, ambulance also even separated for white and black um, an ambulance means for white people would allows be well equipped and while uh, on for black people was not there are, there were separate trains and buses even the bus stop were different for black and white people the non whites were not allowed to vote the best land in the country was reserved for the white people and non whites had to live on the worst available land so like that it is going on situation when means they don't have a right to vote they don't have a right to study their own languages so like that situation is going on and at last the people started to protest against this one and especially the leader the, the african national congress group of people who lead the struggle against apartheid and their most well known leader <coughs> lenson mandela fought the apartheid system for several years finally the succeeded and 1994 south africa became a democratic country okay so that is the uh, history of the south africa about the apartheid law the same system in india it is going on that is uh, based on a caste a different caste people are in different caste and discrimination is happening in africa that is uh, based on color okay black and white and indians are there and uh, based on color these black people do not have any rights uh, they don't have power to vote and all like this situation is going on at last uh, um the african national congress struggled and group of people struggled against this one and uh, nelson mandela was a first important leader and uh, 1994 uh, the africa become the democratic country okay in democratic country means people have the power to uh, choose their power and all the things okay that is the history of the apartheid okay then next one is the participation participation why do we have regular elections you have already read in the previous chapter that the people make the decision in a democracy through voting election people elect leaders to represent them this representation representatives take decision on the behalf of the people <coughs> in doing so it is assumed that they will keep in mind the voice and the interest of the people so how people participate in a democracy that is first one is that election in election people choose their government and uh, that uh, government uh, take the interest of the people because who choose people choose there so that is why uh, these government uh, will always take care of uh, people okay that is uh, always uh, in the mind interest of the people okay that is 
all government are elected for fixed periods in india this period of 5 years one elected government can stay in power only for that period if they want to continue to be power in they have to be reelected by the people this is moment of when people can sense their power in a democracy in this way the power of the government gets limited by regular elections another one is that this election uh, one time is happen on five ways government can rule after the five ways again the election is happening and again people have to choose their uh, peop- uh, representatives and they form the government so it is limited in five ways why it is limited in five ways if it is too long means uh, uh these elected people will forget the people and they will uh, uh do the things for themselves so that is why um this election is uh, and government period is regulated in five years and after the five years again election is happening so these uh, elected people were vigilant because in the next five year if they do well only they can select elect so that is why it is uh, five years okay then elections are usually held on the five years besides voting there are other ways of participation in the process of government people participate by taking the interest of the working of the government and by criticizing uh, when required in august uh, 2005 when a, particip- a particular government increased the money uh, people had to pay for electricity people expressed their disapproval very sharply they took out rallies and also organized a signature campaigns the government tried to explain and defend its decision but finally listened to the people opinion and withdraw the increases so what is happening here uh, besides other ways of uh, one way of participation is that election another way of participation is that uh, people can pa- raise their voice through media and against the decisions maybe the decision is good for the people means uh, not good for the people means uh, they can um, against that they can raise their voice okay in, in example is given in a uh, textbook the, uh, that is also when the government is increase the price of electricity or the petrol even the petrol when they are so you can see that when the uh, government is raising the price of petrol means uh, people always uh, against that one and uh, protesting against and sometimes they need to withdraw that uh, decisions so like that uh, people can participate in the government okay through rallies and uh, so there are many ways in which people express their views make a government understand what actions they should take this include dharna rally strike signature campaigns etc Uh, things that are unfair and unjust are also brought forward newspaper magazine and tv also play a role in discussing government uh, issues and responsibilities okay so there are many ways in which people express their views uh, that is through um, uh, these include dharnas rally strike you know uh, strikes are happening always okay uh, signature campaigns and all these things are through this people are uh, Uh, raising their voice against the government if the government is not doing well means uh, if the go- decision of the government is against the people means uh, people always uh, against the issues or raise their voice through ch- newspaper and channels and dharnas and rallies strikes are happening like that it is going on okay so in the newspaper you can see many examples okay like that all the issues has taken so like that people participating in the governments so today's uh, class is going to over the important points we are discussing that is uh, most popular form of government is a uh, democracy people played an important role in the uh, election of uh, leaders the democracy means a government of the people india follows a representative form of a government that is citizen choose their government then we studied about apartheid and the situation of africa apartheid means oppression uh, on the basis of race then uh, participation how people are participate one is election through election then through criticizing government that they do through rally signature campaigns and dharnas and strikes and newspaper magazines and tv also played important role in a democracy for the participation of the people okay so today you have to read the fourth chapter today's portion uh, okay and up to page number uh, 38 you have to read and understand it and do the work very well thank you